the scams that are popping up this time of this time of year. Uh, I briefly talked a little bit about um, gift card shopping, purchasing, buying of gift cards, but there's also gift card scams that uh, pop up this time of year, and that is um, uh, thieves who are basically offering gift cards as prizes or promotions in order to uh, get access to people's personal information and financial information. And so you could be getting a text, you could get an email of this super deal, and uh, it really is an opportunity for a crook to have you try and click on the link, which could bring you uh, to a survey, which, you know, in order to get the gift card, you have to fill out this survey, which means you gotta click another link. Well, that potentially opens you up to malicious software, malware, that's gonna end up infecting your computer and again, granting access or giving them access to your personal and financial information that's stored on your mobile device or your, or your computer. Um, other gift cards, uh, scams could be just simply offering this gift card and you, know, you need to put some money toward it, but what ends up happening is uh, your personal information will be taken and potentially sold to other scammers and ID thieves. Uh, so you want to be careful of what it is you're typing in your computer and what it is you're responding to. Because you may not even know that these gift cards are uh, scam gift cards because it may be offered to you on a site that looks very much like a legitimate company uh, and you know, you'll be none the wiser until after the fact when your information has been fraudulently used. Um, another scam this time of year and this sort of preys on people's goodwill during the time of year when we're giving thanks and we're um, wanting to make people feel really good during the, the holiday season and that is the charity scams. Um, people uh, who want to give some of their money to those who are less fortunate uh, maybe on the uh, bad end of a call or uh, email where someone is very aggressively uh, trying to get you to uh, uh, wire money or uh, write a check right away but basically a spur of the moment and they may be uh, using a name of a charity that has a name that looks or sounds very much like a long-standing legitimate charity so consumers need to ask a lot of questions. Don't be afraid to have them send you information on the charity. Uh, don't be afraid to uh, ask them how much money is going toward the uh, recipients of the charitable donations. Um, and if you find out that a lot is going for administration as opposed to for the service they intend to provide, that should be a good indicator that your money may not be used wisely. It's also a good idea uh, for consumers to go to the Department of Financial Institutions website. That would be www.wdfi forward slash charitable organizations. And you can find out whether a charity has been registered to do business in the state of Wisconsin. Um, that'll give you an idea, at least a, a level of comfort that uh, the charity has gone through uh, proper channels in order to make sure that they're registered to be able to solicit money from individuals. So, uh, and then there's also, because it's near year end and people like to give charitable, charitable donations for tax uh, purposes, that's another angle that crooks use to try and separate you from your money is uh, using some sort of a tax angle on their pitch. And, you know, again, always remember uh, if it's aggressive and they're asking for immediate payment, that should be a red flag. Uh, if you're asking the question, is this a tax deductible donation, and you're not getting a good answer, that could be a red flag. And if you're asking questions about the organization itself and they're not willing or forthcoming with any of that information, that should be another red flag that uh, you might not be dealing with a reputable phone call. Uh, so rely on you know the local organizations that you've been supporting 
for a number of years and do your research for those new ones that you might be considering.